Nice. Nice. Oh my god, Tom, this is... Oh my god, no, 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 that is, that is the ending thing. Has to be. Oh. This guy's getting spawn traps so bad. I just got a mega kill. It's amazing. Never got anything as good as that. Not like on this game, anyway. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have actually hit max rank on Black Ops Cold War. Third prestige, level 100. Dude, we've just hit prestige master. What? Oh my god, we've done it in this game. <laughs> Congratulations, you have completed all prestige levels and you are now prestige master. From here, you will continue to level up as a prestige master. You may customize your prestige icon and you will earn more prestige icons at milestones in your career. Mad. <laughs> now, of course, like I did with the previous two prestige videos, I'm going to go through and let you know exactly how you hit max rank third prestige and basically what happens when you do go ahead and hit it now as a disclaimer to put it out there there are a lot of different prestige glitches and things like that that are going around and people are being stuck at different levels and things like that and it isn't helping the situation in regards to hitting max rank for a lot of people so in this video i'm going to go through my experience what i found and obviously if i've encountered this prestige glitch or not and if so what level actually are you it was confirmed by activision or treyarch that obviously this was some sort of glitch or problem and that it will be fixed and patched in the very near future Future, maybe on the update coming on next Wednesday when Nuketown is released to the world. It is a glitch, it will be patched, and the level in your after action report is not accurate, so don't follow that. The level that you are is on screen. So, for example, I'm level 100, that's the rank that I am. As you also can see in the top right as well, my blue bar next to my level, that's continuously full from Prestige 2 up until Prestige 3 level 100. So, I would probably say ignore that completely, just keep playing and just keep ranking up. That bar is not going to move until this is patched so that will stay full completely for throughout every single level until you reach level 100 i would just play the game normally and then just see your rank progressively go up to level 100 as and when you can no one should be stuck at a particular rank everyone should just be ranking up as they go along you just won't be able to see your progress or how close you are to ranking up because it just won't show you okay so now that's out of the way let's get on to the prestige 3 max rank so of course how do you hit prestige max rank and how do you hit max level well it just happens it actually happens very similar to the other two prestiges. So in prestige one, you would just go from level 55 into first prestige level one automatically with no sort of prestige entering or you don't need to manually do anything. It just automatically changes your emblem to prestige one. Same thing goes with prestige two as well. So when you are prestige one, you would then automatically go from prestige one into prestige two level 50. And then from here on out from level 50 to 100, you automatically go into prestige three level 100 when you reach level 100 and annoyingly you actually don't unlock anything <laughs> the only thing you actually unlock is a prestige key and you can't use them yet because there's no prestige shop so the prestige shop will be coming in season one in december so until then we literally can't do anything the most annoying thing for me when reaching maximum prestige on black ops cold war is that at the moment there's no way to progress past level 100 so when season one does finally come out you will have something called master prestige awards where effectively when you hit max rank or level 100 in that particular season after you've prestiged fully you can then carry on leveling up after upwards until a level 1000 which basically means that you continuously level level up and level up and level up and level up and then every 50 levels you unlock an additional prestige key which will then you'll be able to spend in the prestige shop when that is finally around however at the moment you can't do that you are stuck at level 100 until season one so until season one is here i'm stuck at level 100 for another couple of weeks now and that's going to be boring as anything so i'm just gonna have to grind videos try and get diamond and just not worry about my rank but yeah so i'm stuck at level 100 now in prestige three and uh, the emblem, it looks kind of cool. And yeah, I, but I just wish that uh, we could rank up past level 100. So again, go up to that 1000 rank. Okay, so moving on to a couple of things that I've used in this prestige. And some of my favorite things. And I'm going to go through some of my stats with you guys as well. Because a lot of you guys were asking about those in the previous videos and streams that I've done. So we're going to go through those in this video as well. So my favorite classes, of course, were the assault rifles. Go ahead and get them diamond. So of course, we've done that in the second prestige. And they look absolutely sick. However, now we're focusing on tack rifles 
rifles and pistols so at the moment i'm looking at the org so i'm level 38 with the org this is the current setup i've got on the org so a class setup will be with you very very shortly on that one i've unlocked some more things and can test out a few more attachments for it but the things are monster so i've been predominantly using this and yeah it's just been so so sick moving on to score streaks this is the these are typically the streaks that i'm going to rock but i've been meaning to change it to this really but again just to go for challenges and things that's why we've got these sets this particular setup on and then of course the main thing is the barracks so you guys want to see my combat record so this is it for my third prestige so level 100 third prestige time played one day eight hours 47 minutes we've played around 203 games 148 wins 50 losses and an eight win streak is my highest 2.96 win loss ratio as well which is pretty cool as well so I pretty much win most of the games that I am in so that's always nice to know uh, a kill death ratio of 2.79 which is actually going up as well which is quite surprising to be honest because I've been getting some pretty decent lobbies and that never happens i'm usually getting absolutely destroyed maybe it's just because i'm using the org and it's really overpowered i don't know we'll we'll see we'll see how it goes in the next season and see obviously if my combat record does improve there as well 8250 eliminations eliminations per game an average of around 41 and my high skill streak is still a 47 similar to last prestige as well as you can see the top weapons i'm using is the ak the ffar1 ubz just because i've got them diamond the krig the xm4 these are basically the guns that i've got diamond so these will of course be my highest kill weapons and then as you can see the org is slowly creeping up there with 532 kills as well and kd ratio of 4.22 the org is crazy you've got to use it to be fair though my kd with other guns is not bad at all as well i mean look at this one with a krig 4.53 with a krig but again the krig is one of my favorite guns in the game so i literally just went absolutely ham with this gun all the time and i love i love the weapon so these are the two best guns that i've got in the game currently they're my favorite guns to use and uh yeah it's just they're just amazing but anyway that is basically everything i've used the sim shot so many times it's so so sick i just i just love the sim shot i use it pretty much all the time these stuns and things like that whenever i need to go for challenges uh spy planes is my favorite uh, they obviously score streets to go for counter spy plane and armor are creeping up there as well with a war machine on a fourth one field upgrades mostly jammers and field mics basically so i can complete those challenges a little bit easier and game modes basically i only play domination and hard point really i think tdm and kill confirmed i'm not really a fan of them because the spawns are a bit crap to be honest you can kind of control a game on domination and hard point which is probably why my kd and weapon kd is so high because i like to control games i like to know where people are spawning that's effectively why i play domination so much on to the medals now this is gonna blow your mind we have got 15 nuclears boys 15 nuclears that's absolutely ridiculous i think we dropped two tonight as well which was pretty mad so we got one with the orc and then we got one earlier with a famas which is coming in a video very soon so be sure to look out for that one but boys 15 15 nukes we have got some stupid lobbies and gameplays that i'm going to share with you guys in the near future around these 15 nukes but uh yeah pretty damn crazy and then of course 74 unstoppable medals as well just ridiculous boys honestly honestly just i don't know how i get into these lobbies i play with a lot of people and a lot of my friends have a lot lower kd than me but maybe that helps i mean i don't really know a lot of them i play with um they're obviously not having they haven't got near a 3 kd they're rocking low ones and stuff like that and when i play with them i think we get into easier lobbies I don't know how skill based matchmaking works this year but whatever it's doing it's working okay for me sometimes but when i'm playing on my own that's when i run into really difficult and sweaty people slide cancelling and things like that and uh, so i tend to try and play with friends as much as possible if not i'll try and do challenges on my own but uh, that's probably why my stats are as they are because i'm playing with my friends and they're not necessarily they don't have a as high kd as i do so that's probably the reason why um, my stats are as they are but uh but yeah guys 15 nuclears and uh yeah that's basically everything. We'll jump on the leaderboards quick, but I think my game might crash. So multiplayer, um, going to all friends, uh, Activision crossplay. This is going to crash my game. My career rank on Black Ops Cold War is 197th in the world, which is freaking insane absolutely crazy anyway we're dominating this year boys i'm really really happy with it and uh i cannot wait to when season one does come out and we can effectively go forward and just do absolute bits on this game i'm really looking forward to that and uh, guys be sure to stick around and subscribe if you guys are brand new for plenty more black ops cold war content coming very very soon and of course if we hit 5,000 subs by christmas this hair it's gone so 
stick around for that if you want all of it is done for charity so it's all for a good cause so if you guys want to stick around for that definitely drop us up on the channel and you'll see that maybe in the near future if we reach 5k we'll see but guys if you did enjoy the video be sure to drop a like on the video that would be absolutely amazing and subscribe if you guys are brand new we'll see you in the next one